hello hello it's been a minute since i made a video showing what i bring with me to pop-up coffee events and our setup has changed quite a bit since that last video i posted so i figured it was a good time to kind of do a refresh so the biggest change so far there's a lot is we do have a full espresso bar so we had a bar built we have a few videos on that um, that is fully collapsible so it can fit into our car or truck and we bring with us two events with that, uh, we did upgrade our espresso machine and our grinder. So the setup is slowly building. Um, I've had the espresso machine a little bit under a year. So, so far so good. It's been working for us. It's the Luca A53. Um, it's been treating us well. It's the direct plumb, but I also don't feel like I've put it through quite enough to be able to fully say um, whether or not I recommend it. Uh, it's been great for us. Everything's been working fine. I know a lot of coffee people who use it in the industry, especially with bars. Um, but yeah, kind of dive in, do your own research, see what you feel comfortable with. Um, I like to keep everything we bring to events in these bins. Uh, what I like about them is that they're clear so I can see what's in each bin, but also, um, if I stack two of them on top of each other, they slide right under the bar and fit nicely. So we try to keep everything pretty minimal so that when we stack it on or in the bar, we can get everything in the building in one trip. It makes life so much easier. Nice color. What I bring with me to pop-up events, because my last one's like three years old. You also bring your husband. Yeah, that too. Okay. You look good. Okay, so this first bin is kind of our like odds and ends um, in a way. I try to keep everything as organized as possible, but you know how that goes. So over on this side, I have our menus. This is like our basic menu that we bring to pretty much every event. And then I keep this frame in here with like a little expo marker so that we can change it um, based on the event. Sometimes we'll like print custom menus, um, but it all just depends on the package. So. I keep that on hand. Um, just a little bit of decor in case we're feeling like it needs a little spruce. Um, here we have a lot of randoms. Um, our scale, of course, for when we like dial in. And then uh, random signs. Some events we don't leave out are like tip jar or Venmo because everything's prepaid. Some we do. So I keep this little Venmo tag. Um, and then occasionally we'll put this out so that people can follow us and uh, leave us a review. So lots of little like decorations. Um, also in here, in this like little gray box within the box, um, it's a bit of a mess right now, but I have like some sugar packets, things like that for people who just stick to Americanos. And then like sharpies and straws for ice drinks moving to the side I love this little acrylic like storage container it has been perfect for lids uh, we usually have lattes cappuccinos ice cups so this has been a great way to kind of like divide and set those up on the bar um, occasionally I'll walk around like HomeGoods or TJ Maxx and just find little things to spruce up the bar so it's always changing a little bit. Also keep our pitchers and a tamping mat in this one. And beans. Can't go without those. Um, they kind of fit in there nicely and I always bring some extra and just kind of leave those in the car unless we need them. Uh, we don't wear them for every event, but I do have like our green aprons uh, for nicer events or ones that we want to be a little more classy. And the first round of our cleaning supplies is also in here, but I'm going to do all of those together. So this bin is where we keep our like cleaning supplies and, you know, chemical things. Um, they shouldn't all be together. This is something that your health department, uh, if you plan on popping up at events and doing individual sales uh, and go the inspection route. This bin is something that your health department will probably require, just a separate area to keep all your cleaning supplies. So of course we have our Sani bucket. Um, we have some like 
first and foremost, like uh, soap and paper towel for hand washing. In most counties, that's like an automatic fail if you don't have these two things. So make sure you pack them. Uh, in our sandy bucket though, we have like all of the cleaning supplies for the espresso machine uh, so that we can clean that each time. Some soap, sani tablets, and our like sani test strips. Um, all things required by the health department if you're planning on going that route. Uh, so yeah, make sure you look into that. Uh, we have some trash bags. Again, more stuff for cleaning the espresso machine. Uh, towels, also for like cleaning, steam wand, all that fun stuff. Another health code must is our um, thermometer. So you can make sure your milk temp is good, your water temp is good, whatever else you need. Um, and then some random like plumbing odds and ends just for emergency use. So that's all of that. Fits nicely in here. Uh, one random purchase that is super, super small, that's been a game changer, is these like little water jug thingies. I can post the link um, below. I just got them on Amazon. But um, we run off of five gallon jugs so that all of our water is purified drinking water, um, comes straight up from the jug into the espresso machine, into the pitcher rinser. And normally they have these little like tab guys, um, which are super hard to get on and off very frustrating sometimes, but I like to keep them so that at the end of the event, if there's some water left over, um, I can just put the cap on and transport it. But they always have the little like kind of tab in the middle so we can put our water line in. Um, and this is always incredibly frustrating to like pop out. So we got these, they're great. They go straight on, fit perfectly. And this just pops right in and out. So. This has been really nice. We use them on the trailer. We use them for our bar. Um, one of those like simple and affordable things that just makes life way easier. And the last bin that I bring with me is also pretty straightforward. Cups and lids. Um, so having them in here is nice because they're all easy to transport and um, you're making sure none of your stuff is like getting dirty. Um, if we bring syrups, I'll also slide these in here, uh, which we usually do bring syrups every event, but that's kind of another thing. If they're in a bin, um, if they happen to spill over a bit, then it's all self-contained. It's not all over your car. Very nice. Uh, I don't have syrups right now because we don't have any events, but those would also go in this bin. Um, and then we also take our, um, Knockbox, that's the word. <laughs> Our knockbox comes out of the bar, also sits in here nicely, which has been super helpful so it's not um, getting forgotten or just kind of like running loose in the car. Um, but aside from cups, lids, and the knockbox, the only other thing I have in here is more like floral kind of decorations. You can see those. Um, I also save those for like nicer events if we're doing a um, like a wedding or a shower of some kind, and it seems to fit the decor, I'll throw those on the bar instead of our like basic plant. Some events, people will have their own decorations that they want on the bar, totally fine. I just like to bring a few things and mix and match based on um, how the rest of the room is set up. So I'll post a few pictures. I'll definitely put links down below to things that I have like the direct link for. Um, but if you want a full like plumbing tour of the bar, we did post a video on that as well, um, along with like everything that you'll need to like fully kind of plumb your bar. Um, I will also show the bar and kind of give a run through of like what we pack for that. Um, but this is the basics. We've tried to keep it as minimal as possible. I know the first video I posted about what we bring to events, we weren't always doing espresso. Um, so we use like a Chemex and things like that. We pretty much exclusively stick to espresso now, or some people will book us for like a hot chocolate bar. So we kind of stick to that uh, and do a little less like pour overs and things. Um, a few other things I didn't show that we do bring with us is um, our bar, our grinder, our espresso machine, um, all the like 
odds and ends that come with the espresso machine, so your porta filter, your tamper, um, and then water. So we, as I mentioned, run off of five gallon purified drinking water jugs. So we bring that with us. Um, I always try to bring a backup, and then I do also bring a few um, just like gallon jugs of purified drinking water. The machine lets off really, really hot water. So if we're making Americanos, we'll put a little bit of just regular purified drinking water in there to kind of cool them down. Other thing I wanted to mention is an extension cord. So we always bring an extension cord. We, cord. we do ask that we're within like five to 10 feet of an outlet. We bring an extension cord with a few different places to connect power into. And what's very, very important about that is that you make sure you have one that can keep up with your power capacity. So um, you're gonna be running your grinder and your espresso machine. The espresso machine does pull a lot of power because it's constantly heating. So if you have a weak power strip um, or extension cord, it is not going to last. You're gonna blow through it, it'll trip. So make sure you invest in a good one there. Um, possibly bring a backup because you just never know what could happen. I'll show everything stacked under the bar, how we bring it. Um, I think I mentioned everything except for maybe like a trash can, uh, a trash can and a dump bucket. So the purified drinking water goes in the machine, goes in the pitcher rinser, and then all of like the gross runoff water goes down into a dump bucket. I have found that using empty purified drinking water jugs has worked best for us. Um, again, we can put those little caps on and off so nothing's spilling in the car. And then um, I can dump them at our commissary and just recycle the jugs when we're done. So it's just completely done. And I don't mean recycle, like bring them back to the store to be refilled. I mean, it had gross water in it. So we just dump them and fully just put them in the recycling bin. Don't mind the mess. Been making drinks today. So, um, Got another extra one of these little thingies. I tell you, I keep them everywhere because I don't want gross water spilling in the car. Um, but the way we stack all of this, so posted in other videos, but you can kind of see the setup. So I make sure to bring a couple gallons of, or four gallon, five gallons of purified drinking water, our dump bucket that all the gross water goes into. Um, this board comes off. So we make sure that we bring that, which has all of our like plumbing connections, anything we would need there. Uh, this pitcher rinser also comes out, so we kind of wrap that up and keep it with all of our plumbing stuff. The bar top lifts off, the sides, the back lift off, everything folds in on itself and then can just slide right into the car, uh, which is great. The machine is definitely a little heavy, so whenever we load and unload, especially if I'm by myself, um, I try to keep the bar as close as possible to the car, so you just lift from the car onto the bar. Um, normally when we do pack up to go somewhere, I will take everything out, put it somewhere safely in my boxes, so I'm sure I have all the accessories that we need uh, and kind of go from there. But the way everything stacks in, so you can see our extension cord is right here. That also fits in um, one of these boxes when we are traveling. But it's all pretty easy. That one slides. This one tucks back here. We also put our, um, we have like a big trash can that just slides right under here. The knot box goes in this side. So as we're going, everything's going directly into the trash. Um, so I slide that there. Um, and the only other thing we bring is a cooler. So when we're moving inside, um, one of us will usually just like bring the cooler while the other one pushes the bar, or sometimes we'll just put the cooler right on top here next to the espresso machine so everything can be pushed in together. And then it's really easy from there to just kind of push and navigate wherever you gotta go. So that is our full setup. That's what we're currently bringing with us. I hope I didn't forget anything. I will post links below and if I forgot to mention something, I do apologize. But yeah, so far this is what's been working for us. It's been great. And uh, I know it feels like a lot at first, but just keep pushing forward. Once you find a system that works for you, it makes everything so much easier. Try to consolidate as much as you can so that you're not having to carry a million things in and out and you'll do great.
Okay, this is after an event, so it didn't go in quite as nice as it usually does, but we keep our machine, water pump, all that out here. Uh, do not leave it in your car overnight. If it's cold, it might freeze. Um, and then some like odds and ends in that trash can, which right now is full of trash. And then we, since we have a truck, we stack the bar folded in the back with wheels up so it doesn't slide everywhere. In there is our two bins full of everything, our dump bucket, a cooler, and then back there we have an extra water and some extra beans. So thankfully with the truck, it all does tuck nicely, but before we had the truck, we did fit this in an Explorer. Uh, we just put it face down like that and kind of stacked everything around it accordingly.